If you call yourself a gamer and like to play Rockstar games by any chance, you've probably heard of the game Bully. Bully is an old game, it came out on the PS2 and on the Xbox back in the day, but it still is a lot of fun to play so I decided to give it a shot. And first and foremost, I've noticed some of the negatives. One of the points that I want to make is that the game unfortunately barely offers any fast travel options. They're so impractical in fact that I ended up mostly not using them. There are no options to retry any kind of missions, you cannot just stop mid-mission when you know you're failing and just immediately select retry. I don't like the fact that the character is too nice and with time he actually becomes even nicer. You're supposed to be a bully and a bully is supposed to be a fucking asshole and this guy is neither of them. He's way too nice and almost never acts like an actual bully. You get a possibility to spray paint stuff but this seems to be one of those pointless activities as you will find out later on. The side missions with blue indications are also quite pointless and not really something that you should be wasting your time with unless you're bored which will be hard because it's a rockstar game. Buying a scooter is the fastest way of transporting from A to B and if you want to use anything else you're just gonna be annoyed. At one point even the rest of town gets exposed to you and you can actually travel anywhere. However in order to acquire the scooter you need to farm tickets at the fair. On the other end you also have money as a resource but money feels pretty much useless. I've also noticed that as any rockstar game you have factions for which you do different missions and one of the factions are the nerds. The nerds are not really typical nerds either because they kick ass when they decide to fight you too many at a time they're gonna beat you up and you have no chance which is just weird the bullies are nice the nerds are kicking ass it kind of doesn't add up sometimes the camera work here is terrible and will often play against you so that's something that I did not enjoy and since the game actually requires you to use stealth in some missions but does not have any good stealth mechanics that's definitely something that I wanted to mention as a bad thing however the game offers great humor it has idiotic missions which are very entertaining it still looks okay even on the PlayStation 2 and it has a very rockstarish feel considering that it has so many side activities you can do which can be quite a lot of fun playing mini games going to different places in town and doing other things such as races etc it's just a great experience overall most lessons because you actually are in a school and you have to participate in lessons are quite fun to play but there is the English lesson and the chemistry lessons those I really dislike the characters all together are all very interesting and likable so that's something that left a positive impression on me and the story itself is very well told going from season to season and showing you how our character is improving and changing. The voice acting is also great and it definitely helps the great story here and ultimately one of my favorite things in this game you get a classical happy ending something that I'm not used to seeing nowadays so thank you Rockstar. At this point there isn't much else left to say if the game looks interesting to you and you have not played it yet you enjoy Rockstar's games such as GTA, go for this game, it's fun and you get used to the low-res graphics pretty quickly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.